So today I'm filling a gap here that's been vacant for 15 years with a Mario mushroom. Um, the first tattoo that I ever got was this flaming cue ball, number four. I got it when I was in matric, 18. Um, four's my lucky number and I was beginning to pull then so I thought it was a perfect start. I then decided to get a handful of more over the next few years. Just random mishmash of lots of different little pictures. So that's all I could afford at the time. And um, not the most meaningful stuff, but I just wanted to sleep. So I thought I'd put another little random guy in, not the most meaningful thing. But if I had to say that's a meaning, quite big into comics, toys, Lego, old school games. So it does fit the part. It's also going to be very colorful to go with the rest of my colorful yeah. Sure, I met Megan about nine years ago. She used to work at, at her old studio. She started tattooing me on my leg with this London piece. I was a bit nervous because I <laughs> didn't really know too much about her work or anything. It's probably the best thing that ever happened to me because from that day on she's just pretty much covered my entire body. No, no, no. Since she opened the studio, I think it was about four years ago. We like to say I was the first client of theirs at True Blue Studios. Got my chest tattooed then. Pretty much lyrics from a band called Rise Again, so I got the mix to design it. Kind of gave it quite blanche, so it's one of the nice big chest piece. She put the roses and the banner and everything. Um, got a big scar here from when I was a kid and had a heart to hop, which I'm quite proud of. So I also was designed it around the scar so it didn't cover it up or anything. I think it came out pretty well. Not quite chuffed. So I have a sleeve but not a very well thought out sleeve. So a word of advice if you want a sleeve, rather wait, plan it and let it take time then just put it all together as soon as you can. I have one of the most hygienic Tattoo parlors I've ever seen. It doesn't even look like a tattoo parlor, it looks like an art studio in some way and shape. It's just so different to the majority of these tattoo places. <laughs> 